Hey guys, Fats Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode I want to go over a quick introduction to blueprints. Having said that I want to show you and uh, explain exactly what it is, what it can do, how to use it in the engine and uh, hopefully get you uh, creating some basic um, you know, mechanics and events and stuff inside of Unreal Engine 4. So without further ado, Blueprints is a visual scripting language. So essentially what a visual scripting language is, is it allows you to make scripts, code and everything, and pretty much make gameplay uh, events, mechanics and stuff uh, without actually writing the traditional code that you might find, um, you know, that other programmers use like C++ and so on and so forth. So the purpose of a visual scripting language is it essentially allows you to quickly prototype and create uh, scripts inside of the engine uh, without the need of all the technical knowledge and the time and all the extra faffle that comes with it. So let me just go ahead and show you pretty much what a visual scripting language looks like. So essentially you have little blocks and these little blocks, uh, sorry, it's like code but it's made up of little blocks. So in traditional code you're gonna have stuff like your events, your objects and your functions and everything. Instead of um, pretty much uh, having all the letters and everything, you essentially have these blocks. And then you've got the lines in between them, in between them just giving you the flow of the code. So let me just go ahead and uh, open up Unreal Engine 4 here. And if I go ahead and open up my blueprint, you can see that I've got some basic uh, scripting here uh, for an elevator that I've got. So I've got a couple of blocks here, and then I've got a couple of lines in between and uh, I've got different types of blocks and usually they come in different colors. So for example here you can see the event um, is in red and then the function is in blue and then the object and the property is also in blue and you got a little data uh, blue wire going in between it. And that's pretty much what I want to be explaining to you today. Pre uh, pretty much just the basic principles and uh, getting you into the interface. Anyway, so once again, you've got your little blocks and you've got your flow of the code outlined by the lines. So we don't really need to go over too much detail, um, but let's just go ahead and show you what we've got here. So if I open up this blueprint, I'm just going to break down and analyze this uh, script that I've got here. So this is actually a script for an elevator. If you want to look at how I made this little elevator, um, you can just watch the video in the annotation in the top right. I'm just going to show you what it is now. You go onto it, it plays a sound and you go up and then it goes back down again. Quite simple, really. So that's the kind of stuff you can do with blueprints. Um, you can also use blueprint uh, blueprint, cra uh, blueprint classes if you want. Um, instead of containing it in the level, you can have self-contained blueprints, which can be reused and reused. So if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and drag it out and you can repeat it just like that. Now, right here, you just got a prefab, but you can attach code to that. And I'm going to be showing you that in a separate video. Anyway, without further ado, so let's just go ahead and introduce you to the blueprints, um, so the, the level blueprint editor. So let's just go ahead and press blueprints in the top and then go to open level blueprint. So if we create a new level and we open this, you're going to see that we have nothing in there. So let's just don't save and then go to blueprints, open level blueprint, and it starts you off with a blank canvas. There's nothing in here, there's nothing in your level uh, whatsoever. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be creating a little light bulb, um, and we're gonna be able to toggle that on and off using um, an event. So hopefully by the end of this, you pretty much get the whole idea of objects, events, and functions and everything. So first things first, we need an object that we can manipulate. So that object for us is going to be a light, a point light. So if you go over to modes and if you go to place, lights, and then point light, and then just drag it into your scene, just like this. Once we've got that, we can actually create a reference to that in blueprints. So from there, we can actually edit it. So if we create reference to point light, if you right click, we now have our point light object in the scene. That is an object, it can be modified, you can do stuff to it. Anyway, so now we've got that, we need an event. Now, there's loads of different events you could use if you wanted to. You could have begin play, which is provided with a new blueprint. Begin play is essentially at the start of the level as soon as the player loads it in. Um, so if you wanted to, you could do that, or you could have touch. So if you touch something, if you go to volumes, and then you scroll down, you go to trigger volume, if you drag that in, what we could do is we could right click on uh, with that selected 
and you could add event for trigger volume one and then collision would be touch and that's begin overlap we've got a couple of different things here i just want you to play around with these for now um there's a couple of different ways you can add events so you've got um you know mouse inputs touch inputs uh, so you can do keyboard stuff but i just want to show you uh trigger volumes for now so let's just go ahead and chuck that in and then we're going to go ahead and put that in here. So now we need a command. So we've got the event, we've got the object, we need a command now. So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to click this and then we're going to right click and we're going to type in toggle visible or type in visibility just so we can change that. And let's see if we've got anything in there. Nope. So what you're going to have to do is right click and pr uh, press play, pr place new vote node visibility. There you go. And if you type it in toggle visibility, that sounds good to us. Let's go ahead and use that. So if we drag this down and this down and this over here, you can just click and uh, grab these objects to move them around in the blueprints to make it look a little bit better for you. It's the same in code. You want to try and keep it nice and tidy if you want. So we've got this here now. We let's get rid of that and that. Um, we need to hook this up. We need the event to go into the command. So we need to actually hook up, uh, hook it up. So to do this, you see the little arrows you've got here in your object. That's pretty much directing the flow of the code, and that's what we need to work with. So click it on the event, which is the first thing, and we want that to go into the command. So click and drag, and you can see the line coming out, and just place it in, and there we go. So now if we go ahead and press play, if we find this light, you can see as we walk on it, it toggles it on and off and on and off. And if we wanted to, we can then go ahead and uh, that uh, and further adjust the brightness, the color and stuff, some of the properties. Uh, it's all really nice. Um, but that's pretty much all I really wanted to teach you for blueprints. Now I just want to get you into the editor. So I've shown you how to make a blue, uh, basic blueprint. Um, just play around with some of the different events that you've got in here. Or if you want to go ahead and check out my blueprint creation series, you can uh, learn how to create a whole bunch of cool stuff. Stay tuned for the next video where I show you how to work with blueprint classes. And uh, that way we can work with the self contained blueprints. And we're going to be doing this light thing in there. And we're going to be able to repeat it, adjust a whole load of properties and loads of good stuff. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.